Welcome back to Joe Stunner Boxing. Um, Tim Bradley has said that he believes Noya and Noe should fight in America. In fact, he said he has to fight in America if he's to cement his legacy, his greatness. Because he is, I think, even though he's still fighting and he shouldn't really judge someone until their career's over. You can't do that in historical terms, at least until their career is over. Nevertheless, I think it's fair to say he is a great fighter <clears throat> and probably... Um, Japan's greatest fighter, you know, fighting Harada, all respect to him, but I think Inoue is an extraordinary talent. Um, do I agree with Bradley? I think he's half right. I think um, Inoue, it would benefit him greatly if he did travel and fight in other countries, because if you're a world champion, in my opinion, you should be you know, reaching out and not sticking in one place with the home cooking. You should go out to other countries and, you know, spread the word. Um, like Muhammad Ali did. Muhammad Ali fought in, you know, well, obviously you got the Rumble in the Jungle and the Thriller in Manila. And he fought in Ireland when he fought Al Blue Lewis. And, you know, he moved around Germany, Britain, obviously, a few times. But, but um, so he kind of cemented his legacy as a great world champion and I remember when Roy Jones was just about un as unbeatable as I've ever seen a fighter um, and he wouldn't go over and fight the WBO champion in Germany Mik uh, Darius M Mikulczewski and he was criticized for this in some quarters and Jones said I, look, I got ripped off in the Olympics I'm not going over to Germany to get ripped off uh, again he was very self-conscious um, right up to the point where he's not touching paranoia, but getting slightly closer to it. Uh, he said, I'm not travelling. I'm not travelling. And no one doubts that Jones is a great fighter, but, you know, you know, despite the failed PED test, which always hangs heavy in my heart, because Jones at his best was as close, like I say, to an undefeat, uh, unbeatable fighter as you can possibly get. And Inoue is, uh, you know, just a colossal talent, Um but I don't think he needs to go to America to do it, just America. By the way, he's already fought three times in America. In fact, he's fought in Britain. People forget this, but he actually fought in Glasgow, of all places. Um, so it's not as if he's been entirely, um, you know, stuck in Japan. He has had his last five fights in Japan, and his next one will be there. But he's fought, like when he fought Emmanuel Rodriguez, like I say, that was in Glasgow, only a two-round knockout. That was when he was, that was for the IBF bantamweight title. Um, and he fought, uh, I can't, you know, he fought Jason Maloney in, in the States and stopped him in seven. And that, that, that win has actually aged very well, considering what Maloney's gone on to achieve. He, put, he fought another guy, it was a third-round knockout, and I can't remember who it was over. Um... I'm sure there was a third occasion when he fought in the US. So he's, th he's fought in the US a few times and he's fought in Britain once. Uh, the question is, wh where else can he go? Should he go back to America? I don't think he necessarily has to. Um, I mean, don't forget, uh, he's, he's already beaten Stephen Fulton, who is probably the best that... Is he the best that America has to offer? Uh, where is he now? Super Bantamos at the moment, isn't he still a new way? So... Uh, maybe if he fought in Mexico, would that be an option? I mean, Luis Neri is the next opponent. I expect um, a new way to beat Neri, to knock him out, probably with body punches. Uh, I think it'll, Neri's already got a record on it, uh, a defeat on his record to body punches. That's his only defeat. Um, and that was to Brandon Figueroa. That was a knockout in seven rounds, 2021, I want to say. Um, so I expect Figueroa to, uh, Figueroa, um, Luis Neri to get stopped by Anoue in Japan. Would it be different if it was in Mexico? Because um, Neri is from Tawana. Yeah, I think the Mexicans would actually embrace Anoue because of the way he fights. Uh, certainly we'd love him, love to have him back in the UK if he came to the United States again, Canada, maybe I mean, who, who would you put him in with? This is, this is the question you see. Um, yeah, it's difficult, isn't it? Difficult to think of. Yeah. I mean, I can't think of offhand. My mind's gone blank. I can't really think of any, of any, um, 
Americans that would really fit the bill at Super Bantam. There probably are a few. Who am I forgetting? Yeah. Yeah, the old mind's gone blank. But anyway, you can correct me in the comments. Who do you think Anue should fight? Do you think he needs to travel? Um, if, if he needs to travel, where does he need to go? Does he need to go to America? Does he need to do a world tour? You know, Ray Robinson did one. Um, in fact, he ended up losing to Randolph Turpin, the 64-day hero, um, and then won the rematch back in the United States. So, I don't know. I don't know. I, I think Inoue is a brilliant fighter. Of course, the one that's done this, that's moved around all over the place, is, is Usyk. We, and one of the reasons why I think Usyk is so revered within boxing circles and so is so brilliant is he's won everything on the road he's beaten everyone in their backyard everyone it's almost, i can't i'm struggling to think of another guy certainly post second world war who's done as much on the road as um as usek has the only person i can think of is the south african brian mitchell um who i was he wba super feather champ or IBF, WBA, I think. And because of, this was back in the you know, 80s and 90s when he was, uh, when we had apartheid in South Africa and he, they couldn't hold, he, he, he held a title, but he had to go on the road to defend it because they weren't allowed to, they, South Africa was being blackballed by the, commu the world community, the economic community, most of them anyway, um, as well as the sporting world. Um, and Brian... Brian Mitchell had to go on the road and, and defended his title. He defended it against Jim McDonnell, actually, outpointed him. But apart from him, has Usyk? Is there anyone who even comes close to Usyk on the road? I don't think so. Um, I could be wrong. Anyway, let me know what you think about this Anuay situation. Do you agree with Tim Bradley? Um, and, yeah, comments below. I'll have a read of them. And, of course, thank you for your time for watching this video. Please subscribe to the channel if you are new. I appreciate that. And also... Uh, hit the like button as well, if you don't mind. Free. Takes a second. No problem. <laughs> All right. Thanks a lot, guys and girls. Catch you later. Bye for now.